what am I bringing back? Inspiring Overseer. So that my voice of the blessed can attack in freely. <gasps> what is this? A land? A land? Oh my lord! A land! Mom! I did it! I finally drew a freaking land! Yeah, that's right! I did! I know! I know! Right? <sighs> Beautiful! But well, now I drew two in a row! Well, I got to get out now! Brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you also very freaking much for tuning in. If you have been here during the live stream, thank you very much. I really freaking appreciate it. And uh, you also knew that I had to cut it short. If you want to know why, check out my Twitter. There's a link in the description. I will tell the whole story there. But short story, uh, long story short, all is well. Emergency has been resolved. Nothing, you know. Like, nothing of consequence has happened. Let's say it like this. But uh, man, the first time in my life, I really. Mm, want to crush somebody's head in my hand. So yeah, uh, but let's not talk about bad things. Let's talk about good things. That is why we're all freaking here. I want to thank you also very much. Yesterday's live stream has been a whole freaking success. I'm very, very happy about it. I still want to know your opinion. If you're, um, if you like the new like thing that I do, like recording during live streams, giving you the best of the videos, you know. And uh, I will also like find a solution where I can show more of the screen. Right now, I couldn't fix it because I just jump straight into it. But you know, until next live stream, that will be on Wednesday, I will be having it fixed, hopefully. And you know, we can then just go on from there. It's going to be freaking easy. And uh, yeah, um, also, talking about good things to happen, let me put on my reading glasses. There is a new freaking member wave that just that crushed over us every single day. A lot of people joining and appreciate it very freaking much. So you have um, some new Zedru the Great Hardest. I want to welcome Kev Jr., Brandon Tries Again, Sinister Soul, Randall Brown, Augusto Scrivano, and King Ralph the First. Thank you very freaking much for becoming Zed of the Great House. I really appreciate it. Also, my beard is like stormy now because I ran through like the wind and everything. So thank you also very freaking much. I really, really appreciate it. Every single one of you who supports the channel means the freaking world to me. But I've been talking for way too long, so enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Prince of Kicks, Hammerin. I love life gain. If you know me, you know that I love freaking life gain. And uh, that is why today we're playing this deck that is just absolutely crazy. There's two cards in here. Let's say three cards in here, or even four, that uh, change life gain forever. Trust me, it just is like that. Because we have some cards that just nobody plays in these decks. So, in the core, we are, of course, our Lunark veteran, Ilias Elcor. Voice of the Blessed Deck and Ana Amalia Benvida Aguirre. Like, with the longest freaking name ever since, you know, I, I... The one with the cookbook from hell. You have to find it for yourself. So, um, that is the that is the idea. We play this. Let's match these two down. Gain life. Put the counters on. Very darn freaking tasty. And we, of course, have the Roaming Throne. So you can choose Clerics. And in that case, this will trigger four times. Because it will trigger this twice. And every trigger will make this trigger twice. So that is very darn freaking tasty. Same with Ilias Elcor, and whenever creature dies now, they lose two life, so even freaking better. And uh, this is not a cleric, so it won't trigger there, but this will still trigger twice, so very freaking good. So, what is the secret sauce that I'm talking about? Well, it's Gix. First of all, insanely good. If you choose Praetors here, which you can, or Phyrexian, let's say you choose Phyrexian. Now this still triggers twice because it's a Phyrexian cleric. Um, but also Gigs will trigger twice, so whenever you attack, you now draw two cards if you want to. Well, for every creature that deals combat damage. And Sheldred. Special freaking sauce right here. You draw a card, now you gain life twice. Two times. Which will trigger the Voice of the Blessed twice and Amalia twice. Insanely freaking good. Your opponent draws a card, now they will lose two times two life. That is four life! Lost for every single card they draw, which is absolutely freaking brutal. So I think this Roaming Throne, you know, can turn like all of these decks in a crazy freaking deck. I still want to put it in way more decks. Sadly, it costs four, so 
most of the cards you want to play, you would want to play it on the same turn, but hey. What is the second secret sauce? Well, these has already been two secret sauces. The Roaming Throne secret sauce number one, the Phyrexians secret sauce number two, secret sauce number three, the Ruin Lurker Bat. With this you attack in. You remember maybe the Healing Pigeon, I forgot his name, like you know the bird that attacks in. And if you've play, been playing like two to three years ago where we still had a Johnny's Pride mate, there was more or less a Voice of the Blessed without the benefits, it was just put a counter on it, that was it. It was good enough already, uh, you know, they still had to make like a worse version of the <laughs> Johnny's Pride mate. But here we are. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, uh, you attack in, you play the Rain Lurker Bat turn one. You play the Voice of the Blessed or Amalia turn 2. Now, even if you don't have the Lunark Veterano, you still get the freaking triggers. Because, you know, with the Lunark Veteran and the Ruin Lurker Pet, you now have a 1 in 10 chance, you know, in the 60 card deck, it's 6 cards, to have this in your freaking starting end. Same with the Amalia and the Voice of the Blessed. So, you will have a good chance to have a turn 1, turn 2, absolute madness, in maybe turn three even more absolute madness because you know we do have these dual lands so if you will like play one of these and you have the gigs in your hand you can still play it you know let's just say you have planes into caves of koilos into either a swamp or like a shattered sanctum now you can just go ahead and play gigs on turn three you attack in with your creatures you draw cards we don't even care because we gain so much life later on you get sheldred now you gain even more card every time that you attack in with a creature that will grow your creatures even freaking more so the secret sauce is growing put it on your pasta it's freaking delicious more secret sauce helping hand you can return something if you return like an inspiring overseer that by the way also cleric so you will draw two cards and gain four uh, two life with this um, and it's two triggers so this will trigger twice and because it's a cleric, it will trigger four times. So very darn good. If you now have the Lunark Veteran, now it will trigger eight times. Because twice here, that will trigger this also twice. That will trigger this four times. So very darn freaking good. And that means because it's all twice, it's going to be eight times. So if you play Lunark Veteran into Voice of the Blessed, Roaming Throne is down. You play an Inspiring Overseer now, this will turn into a 10-10 straight up. That is just absolute freaking madness so helping hand super good you can return whatever here from these you cannot return these two but that is more than fine we don't need to uh this is just a special sauce you know i used it once or twice if you want to put in one more roaming throne be my guest you can absolutely freaking lootly do this with shadows edict against planeswalkers go for the throat for creatures and march of the wretched sorrow you can target your own creatures with this you know, you could just put like, you play this onto your Amalia or onto your freaking Voice of the Blessed. Now these two will grow. If you have two Voice of the Blessed, they all will grow. It's just crazy. That will help you out a lot. And the last secret sauce, of course, is the Mirex because that will trigger Elias Elcor and the Lunark Veteran. So that is just absolutely freaking huge. So... We have one Takenuma, we have one Ganjo, and if you use him during your turn, you even get the Scry, because this cries when you descend it, which also works very nice with the Amalia, because, you know, if you throw something away that you don't like, like you, for example, have a Lunark Veteran, you discard it, like, you look at it, you throw it away, now you will still have the Luminous Phantom, right here, which is pretty darn freaking good. So, yeah, that is something that you can do, my friends, and it's going to be freaking great. So, thank you all so very freaking much as is, priests. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those Healing Pigeon games! Alrighty! Oh my lord, Krimmers! Okay, chill bro, chill. Chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> so... That was kind of stupid. <laughs> Should have just kept my removal for whatever they played, you know. Gishat, man. Freaking Gishat. So, are we finally up against Mono Red? Nope. No Mono Red. Hmm. This is the right play. This is the right play. Because that way I can play Ilias El Kor. Oh, it's another dinosaur. Okay. Alright. Just another dinosaur deck. 
So let us see if we're a little bit luckier this time. I mean, we are going first. That is already very good. So, what do they have here? It's just the exact same start as before. Beautiful. Uh, let's bring in Amalia here. Hopefully we do find a land here, actually. Nope. Wouldn't like that. Okay, so the bat will be doing bat things, which is also very good for us. Another roaming throne, actually, no. That we can do, though. So we're growing big and fast here, big and strong. Back to back against Dinos, yeah, that's just the way it's supposed to be, you know? If they're attacking in here, I'm fine with that, yeah, I don't care. Six life is nothing to me, literally nothing. Uh, bringing in the Inspiring Overseer. I mean, they should be realizing that the game is pretty much over here. Pretty much over. Uh, nope. Land, yes. Land, freaking yes. Nope. I mean, they have to block this. Now even the freaking Pugnacious Hammer Skull can't do nothing against me! Freaking nothing! I am the master of dinosaurs, you know? Little Bulbasaur. Oh, okay. Alright. Another land? That is still fine with me. You can go though. I don't need you. So, tough luck my friend. Play your freaking Italian, see what you get from that. I don't care. I don't care at all. Okay, that is not even an Itali. That is not even an Itali. We win. We win. The revenge is here, man. The revenge is here. Right now. Right here. I don't even know where they're attacking in. I was thinking if I could block and destroy them with my Elias Elcor, but sadly that wasn't possible. <laughs> that wasn't possible. I was thinking about if there was a way, you know, to do it. I mean, hey, at least, you know, they're going ham here. They're going pretty much ham here. Um, yeah, let's just do this just to put insult to injury, you know. And then I attack in with everything. Just to put insult to freaking injury, who is the big dino deck now? It is me, Malone. I am a deck. <laughs> this was your boyfriend? Well, tell your boyfriend that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I beat him, but I needed this. Pax, I'm sorry. Kathy, Pax, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I needed this win. I needed it. We're up against Zed Levity. Yo, Chili Rider. Welcome, welcome. Opponents going first. You think we're finally up against the Mono Red deck? Now that we have not a single life gain in our hand? I bet we are, but the hand is still too good to say no to. It's Mono Red. Well, they're going first, so... Fair, fair. Okay, there's some life gain now. What you got here for me, my friend? Felden Sheldon. They don't need to know that we're also playing white. I want to see what they're doing here. I want to see what you're doing. The Phoenix Chick, okay. Going for the throat here. They don't have anything. They have no instances. Oh, they have double Felden, though. Seems fair. Not. Okay. Ooh, yes, we're cooking now. We're freaking cooking now. All right, what you got in your hand? What is in your hand? Oh, they have a Witch Stalker's Frenzy. That is what is in their hand. Let's get rid of this sucker. 
Okay, all right. Jeez, that is bad. But not that bad. Because I just played a, you know, freaking March of the Wretched Sorrow here. We'll be doing it like this. All right. Do you have something for this? They do, but they will be out of car. They did have it! Man, I'm calling everything today. Just calling it all, man. Just calling it all. Okay, all right. Charming Scoundrel. Not a huge fan of that, but also nothing I can do about it. I think this is the right call. Because we will be bringing down Shadrid now. And if they have an answer to Shadrid, we have another one. So tough as luck is Buttercupist. Show me your top deck. Show me your freaking top deck. I want to see it. Is it another Witch Stalker's Frenzy? It is another Witch Stalker's Frenzy. Isn't that beautiful? It's another monster world. Oh my lord. <laughs> But the thing is that we do have another Shadrid here, so do I even care? Not at all! Not at all, my friend! Not at all! Show me your top deck again! Please! Give it to me! Give me your freaking top deck! Give me your tired and hurdle masses, man! Jesus, okay. Uh, there's a lot of land here now. A lot of freaking land here now. You think it is a Witch Stalker's Frenzy? Sure feels like it. Yo, Hellas and Torrid Silas! Thank you very freaking much for the follow. I really appreciate it. So we should be drawing something, you know, that isn't a land. Oh, my lord. I was just about to say, we should be drawing something that isn't a land. But we can't. We can't. <laughs> we just can't. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight lands in the first 16. Good game. You don't even know half of it, Mono Red. You don't even know half of it, man. I was born to destroy you today! The only reason I'm playing this deck is to rip you apart like an apple, man! And that, my friends, is the fruit of the day! The apple! 55, exact 45, 54 now. We're up against Biz Beast! <gasps> Primus! Yes, I have to be careful because my Evil Malone button is like one under my break button. If I push the wrong button, I will be very sad. Uh, do I keep this hand? Yes, all we need is one land to be happy. One singular land to be happy. Because then we will draw more land. Well, there is one land now for us. We're up against Golgari, one of the best decks in the meta right now. Like, unironically. Unfreaking ironically, one of the best decks in the meta. Let us see if they have a target removal or if they just have like... Yeah, okay. Alright. Nothing I could do there. So now they will play a... Um... We would make pizza dough together? We will! I'm only here when I go, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, babe? I will! We will be making a delicious pizza dough. We will! Alright, can I find one more land here? I can't. But you know what? Nothing. You know nothing. We got like so many new machines for our kitchen. I'm very happy with that. Blossoming Tertoisio. Okay. Are they attacking in? They're not. Woos. Ooh. Okay, maybe it is time. No, it's not. We're still waiting. We're still freaking waiting here. Because if I can get this inspiring overseer down, I will be very happy, you know? Very darn happy. And if that draws me a black source, even freaking better. 
They're attacking in. <laughs> Only monsters hate pizza. That is true. That is true. 100% true. Can can confirm. Only monsters. So, which is the one you're targeting here, my friend? I hope we do draw another land. That is the one, eh? Well, sad, but still alright. But you know what? You know what? Screw your virtue. It's gone. It's freaking gone. Uh, sadly, I... Well... It's okay. It's alright. I want it. Yeah, your virtue is gone! How do you like them potatoes? Was that the smartest play ever? No! <laughs> did I still do it? Yes! I did! Oh, the helping hand! That is pretty darn tasty, not gonna lie! So we start attacking in now. Like, there is no tomorrow. Was that the smartest freaking play you've ever seen? Maybe. Will I be doing it again? No, no way, man. No way. I hope we can bring down Chadwick now. That would be very darn tasty. So, do you have another freaking uh, path of peril here? Is my only question that I have. Okay, all right. Well, that sucks, but it's still okay. We could still find a land here, you know? That would be good. We haven't seen lands yet. Maybe they're scared. They are scared. Jeez, okay. So I have to do it like this now, don't I? Have to do it like this. So, arguably best deck in the meta. Your own shell right now. Okay. Another tranquil frill back. Come on, game. Must be freaking yoke in here. Uh, what am I bringing back? Inspiring Overseer. So that my voice of the blessed can attack in freely. <gasps> what is this? A land? A land? Oh my lord! A land! Mom! I did it! I finally drew a freaking land! Yeah, that's right! I did! I know! I know! Right? <sighs> Beautiful! But now I drew two in a row! Well, I got to get out now! Man! Man! Like, what is even going on here today? What is even going on here today, man? Incredible. Every single thing here is incredible, man. That was just so good. That was just a so what Garuk, what is this? Is that a cross hall elephant? Sure it looks like a freaking croissant elephant. A crelephant. Okay, what are you doing? Are you gaining three life here? It will be just too late, my friend. Just too late. But I'm gaining two life and drawing a card. That was okay, but you know, not okay enough. So Edist enters the battlefield. Ooh. Wait, do we win here? I think we do win here, right? So this will drain him for a one. We get in for a nine, they draw. Ours triggers first. Yeah! Boom! Boom, baby! Freaking boom! That is what is up! That is what is up, man! Delicious. Just plain freaking delicious. If you don't have an answer to my Shelly now, you just... Best deck in the meta, my sweet beehive, man! I am the best deck in the meta, Malone! Everything I do... 
even my sunglasses put themselves on because I am the cream of the crop. We're up against Wutz, which means like little, little pig in German. Oh my lord, Krimmers! Yes, Krimmers! All day freaking Krimmers long, man. All day freaking Krimmers long. So all I hope for is that we find one more good thing. But the, the hand is okay, you know? The hand is pretty much okay. I'll take back what I said. The hand is terrible now. <laughs> well, we can get ourselves another white source or another black source. It all comes down to what we draw in the near future. We will have to see. But our opponent is playing control, so we have to be a little bit careful, you know? You really have an answer for this? Do you really have an answer for this, Woods? They might. They might have it. Yeah, Ashiok is like the best. Ashiok confirmed the best. Attacking in. I am destroying this now because maybe it will thin out their deck of land so much that they're missing a land. Which would be pretty cool, you know? Would be pretty cool. Yeah, tap it. Tap it like it's hot. I'm getting myself another white source because we do have all the black sources we need now. So that is all I care for. Is this a Phyrexian? It is. This is also Phyrexian, though. Jeez, I played myself like a fiddle. <laughs> I played myself like a fiddle. Okay. It happens. Freaking happens. Roaming throne, you're up. Um, let's take Phyrexian here for now. Sunset Revelry, okay. They have a board wipe, right? They just have a Sunfall here. Yeah, our hand is like the worst hand against control ever. Like, we have nothing. Freaking nothing. So they draw here. They should be losing for a life, which is pretty darn cool. It's also a very nice interaction. But sadly, we're up against the Sunfall deck that has Sunfall on turn 5 straight up. In 3, 2, 1. No? Okay. Let's do it like this. They have a Wandering Emperor. That is why I'm not attacking in here. With my Sheldred. Not doing that. Not freaking doing that. Here it comes. Oh, it's a memory deluge. Okay, maybe I should have attacked. Well, they most likely have both. Most likely have them both. But the thing is that our hand is just too slow. If we were up against something with lands and stuff, we would have a chance here. Here comes the Sunfall. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just as I said. <laughs> just as I said. <laughs> Just as I predicted, man. Jesus Christ, we have such a bad hand here. Such a terrible freaking hand here. I mean, they're down to 10, but it's just, you know, just terrible. Just freaking terrible. Did they just draw Field of Ruin, man? Come on, game. Come on, man. There is a limit to what I can take. And it has been achieved. Like, we have the worst hand against control. The worst hand against control, man. Just the worst. Just the freaking worst, man. Come on. Um. Let's take Cleric now. Why not? Why freaking not? Maybe slowly but surely we will be getting there. Impeccable game. <laughs> Impeccable. <laughs> Once more we have the worst hand against control ever. 
the worst hand against control ever. So it happens, you know. If we had like an early game, it would have been cool. Uh, name of the song is... Uh, it's Slayer with uh, that skin mask. All right. Maybe one day we will even stand a freaking chance. Maybe one day. Who knows? Who freaking knows? So, at least we can get rid of Jay straight up. Unless, of course, they have a counter spell in hand now, which you most likely have. No attacks here. You have another Jace, though? Do you have it? <laughs> Why am I even asking, man? Why am I even asking, man? It was clear as freaking day that they did. Clear as freaking day that they did. Attacking here. Oh, they do have the Wandering Emperor. Well, I mean, once more, our hand was terrible against this anyways. Yeah. Maybe we find a counter spell here. It's our only chance. Please be a counter spell. Come on, by the love of God, be a freaking counter spell. Just once in your life, game, be on my side. Just once. Be a counter spell. Be a counter spell. Come on. I know you can do. That is your second Elspeth Smite, man. Your second one. Oh, come on, man. Come freaking on, yeah. You go up against control and all you get is removal? Not creatures? Screw you, game. Screw you. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. <laughs> we could have drawn, like, you know, more creatures. Some card draw. A uh, man land. You know, there was a lot of things we could have drawn here that would have made this game a little bit more bearable. Oh, my lord, Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I will keep this hand. It is too good to say no to. All we need is one more land to be super happy. Okay. Recruitment officer. Yo, Yoruzo! Thank you very freaking much for the follow on Twitch. And Marcos Vincios Coelho, thank you very freaking much for the follow on uh, YouTube. I missed one of you, 100%. I don't know which one, but I missed one of you. We are attacking in, which I totally understand. Here comes Talia now. Oh, Kellen, okay. Alright, no attacks yet. We have some good moves going on here, you know. They're taking this, alright. That is still fine with me. So we can play the Lurker Bat here. And pass the turn. Adeline, alright. Okay. We go to attack. You're certain about that, my friend. So, please no land, please no land, please don't be a land. Perfect, freaking perfect. Okay. So block in here like this, block in here like this, and this can go because that also means that this will grow. Freaking amazing. We're doing things. We're freaking doing things. Did somebody be knocking at my door? It was the dog? 
The dog was knocking on my door. <laughs> Cam gone? Oh no! Oh jeez. Okay. I mean, hey, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Which most certainly is not me. Okay. Recruitment officer. That is four recruitment officers already. Not bad, not bad. Oh, look who's here. Bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, look who's here. Look who is here. Um, yeah, we will like go for the throat this. Mom. <laughs> Aren't you a cutie patootie? So what do they have here? And they scoop. <laughs> that is the luck of the Irish. Even though he's an Italian Greyhound. But the Irish and the Italian were always like the same for the Americans for a long time. So hey. I mean hey. It's a dog. Dog luck. Yay. Ah, oh, don't lick my nose. <laughs> we're up against Gogo Gadgetto with 81. I love it. <gasps> Trimmers. Yes, Krimis. Oh, I, I wanted to do this just to mess with y'all, but, uh, you know, we're going first, but I really don't like the hand. This hand is amazing, though. Ooh, what am I getting rid of, though? It's go for the throat. It is the go for the throat. I want the gigs. I really want it. Really freaking want it. Okay. Here's the Malia. That would be so freaking cool, dude. So freaking cool. Ilias El Core is also alright. We can do that. Deep Cavern Bat. Put choose your poison, my friend. Choose your freaking poison. We're taking the gigs. And that is super fine with me. Super freaking fine with me. Still attacking with everything. Alright. Okay. Shattered Sanctum now. What have you gotten here? Are you taking care of my Amalia? Are you taking care of my Elias Core? You have to make some choices here, my friend. You have to make some choices. Oh, they're paying the three life. I like that. I really freaking do like it. Are you attacking in, though? You're not, Wuz. All right. I mean, hey, if we if we're getting life, we're getting life, you know. No need to uh, to boomer around here. He says, "Do you feel like MTG Arena has a 50/50 win loss ratio?" No, I don't think so. I think that MTG Arena just, you know, it's not a best of one game usually. Uh, Magic is not a best of one game. And if you're playing it as best of one, that might be the reason why you're losing. Okay, let's do it like this. Yo, a mystery cast. I don't know why my head had such a problem reading that. Thank you very, very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Okay, Lunark Veterano. Pretty darn good. I think we win this. I don't know why, but they're trying to beat the Master of Mono Black with Mono Black. So why, what are they even trying here? Isn't this super good? Isn't this like super good? I mean, they need way more than this, you know, to freaking defeat me. But the game is trying its best again. The game is trying its best again. Oh my sweetest baby Jesus. Okay, all right. A fight? Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ, man. Game is doing its best. One life. All for one life, man. All for one single measly freaking life, man. No, 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 game. All for one life. Man, I hate this game. I hate it. 
One life. They were one life off of losing here. But they had it all. They just had it all. You know? All of it. There is no helping me. But YouTube, check this out. Mike, Mike, the Mike, Mike, you're a legend. What are these hands, man? What are these hands? No. Oh, this hand is beautiful, though. And talking about hands, not you. Alrighty. So after this game, I'm done. <laughs> I do play some timeless when I will have the time to do so. I know that sounds weird, but uh, right now, I don't know the format, so I don't think that I will. So we're finally up against Mono Red here. Just exactly what I wanted to happen. Exactly. Yep. This is a game we will win. Wait, didn't we play against Mono Red before? I don't even remember. I don't remember. Remember if we did play a Mono Red? Uh, nope. Nope. I need land. Thank you very much, game. Thank you also very much. That is exactly what I wanted. This is what we're here for, man. Exactly what we're here for. I don't even want that in my hand. Uh, yes, that is fine. That is fine. Yeah, Timeless is new and it's pretty good. Like, I've seen a tournament and I was like, damn, this is amazing. I like that they're still trying. I like that they're still trying. I lost against Mono Red? No way. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no freaking way, man. I don't believe you. Alrighty. I mean, this is pretty tasty, you know? Pretty darn freaking tasty. We even found another land. Oh, sweetest baby Jesus. Sweetest baby Jesus, that's enough land. Thank you very much, game. But I mean, this is pretty good, you know? This is exactly what we're here for. Okay, that was three lands in a row. And they scoop. That is right, Mono Red. That is right. I came here to crush you. No, wait, I won against Mono Red. It was then, back then, when I said that I crushed him like an apple and that was the fruit of the day, the apple. It's a long time ago, but still. But still. We got him. We got him. Simple. Rustic. Beef. Freaking Wellington man. I love the deck. And so do you. I know you do. I know you do. Um, I thought that maybe I have like two more weeks of this before we get into the early access event. Where I can record like seven videos in advance until the new set it. But they cancelled the event. Because they fired Jesse Hill. Without Jesse Hill, there is no early access streamer event, so I'm very sad about that. You can hear my opinion about it everywhere if you want to, just ask me for it. But if I have to say something, it's boo on you wizards for firing one of your most important employees. It's not only me and other streamers, you know, people like to watch it too, to get some ideas, to get the new set early, to get a little sniff of not only Mono Red all day freaking long, because that is not how the early access events work. Nobody, almost nobody, plays Mono Red then. So yeah, it's just shaking my head here. Shaking my freaking head here. Boo on you, wizards. But hey, um, thank you also very freaking much. Uh, I also have like a timeless video coming up very soon. So uh, I think it should be Monday or Tuesday, one of the two. I don't remember. I could also like throw it in before, but I don't feel like it. I still want to do everything in order. And uh, yeah, I will be back with streaming on Wednesday. Maybe. I I don't know uh, if I can do it before. I don't think I can. It's going to be tough. I will be here as soon as I freaking can. But for the rest, you know, it's all going to be business as usual. Just let me know what you think about everything and the new setup, all of that jazz. I would appreciate it very freaking much to hear your opinion because I value it. I value it. If you're like a person that always complains anyways, well then maybe I won't listen to you because you always complain anyways. You know who you are. But if you like have a strong opinion about something, I will listen to it. I will hear you out. I will just give you a chance to speak your mind and I won't even be mad for it. Just don't be a douche about it. If you are still here, please put a little Maloney's Angels down below in the comments. I would appreciate it very freaking much. And remember my friend, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and it's beautiful, Beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. 
I'm Mattis Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.